Hello once again, Maze and Blues fans. It's that time of the year again, the game. It's what every Michigan and Ohio State fan wait for every year. So as always, like, share, subscribe, and I'm going to get into what to expect Saturday and what we need to do to pull off a miraculous win. Okay, so I've seen that Wilton Spate has been practicing, but he hasn't been cleared for contact. And Brandon Peters got knocked unconscious in the game early, uh, last Saturday, which it looked like it was a it looked like it was a shoulder or something. That's what I was thinking it was, but they just said he not got knocked unconscious, so it's probably more of a it's probably more of a concussion protocol with him being like that. So it's not likely he's going to be able to play, and it's not likely Wilton Spate's going to be able to play. So we're looking at John O'Corn. Honestly, I wouldn't mind if Malzone played. Why not? I mean, we don't have anything to lose, and O'Corn's just O'Corn's not very good. It's I mean, it's it is what it is. He's he's not gonna give us a chance, a a good chance to win. You you'd probably be better off putting Malzone in. Honestly, like I just want to see what we have. Like, hey, we might need him next year. Let's see what we have. But uh, besides that, what what we need to do, no matter who is the quarterback, let me just start on defense. On defense, we have to make JT Barrett beat us with his arm. That's number one. Because Ohio State is coming out, and they have a good offensive line, so they're going to try to run it down our throat. When they play us, they usually try to go to smash mouth football, no matter what they have going in the regular in the during the regular season, they usually try to go back to smash mouth football. So we will need to, to stop the run. And when I say stop the run, that means stopping Jake uh, Dobbins and uh, Mike Weber is back. Great. He's back. He killed us last year in overtime. But uh, him and Dobbins, that's a, that's a two-headed monster. So – we need to stop their run like we want to do any team, but it's not just stopping those two. We have to. We can't let JT Barrett beat us with his legs, which he did last year. He didn't at first, but once the game got close and into the third, late third and fourth quarter, he beat us with his legs. So it's imperative that we stop him from making plays with his legs when everything breaks down. Or there's just nobody open, so he just picks up the yards he can because sometimes he's like another running back back there, basically. So we have to stop him and make us make him beat us with his arm because he can't throw that good. If Especially if we're in man, one-on-one -on -one coverage, we have to – We it's hard for him to make those precise throws when you have good coverage. So – we just need to make him beat us with his with his arm, and hopefully we can try to not have our biggest mismatch and our biggest defensive weakness is our safeties in coverage. They can come up and hit and make tackles, but they are not good in coverage. Metellus and Canell, they are they're not good they're not good in coverage at all. They just grab and hold. They don't get in their back pedal, so they'll get torched and they'll just get beat. Whether no matter what it is, like they'll get beat in most situations, unless it's a tight end on them or some. But if it's a wide receiver, you can almost guarantee that they're gonna get burnt. And that's just that's just what it is. I mean, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. Those are our weaknesses on the team, on our defense at least. But uh. So we just have to take care of that. We we have to take care of that in the back end, in the in the trenches. Our big dudes, they have to take on blocks. Like I understand Don Brown wants them to everybody to get after everybody to get after the quarterback and everybody to create mismatches, but when you're playing teams like this, you need those big boys in, in the front four to take up blocks. So our linebackers can uh, can be free and make those tackles. So it's imperative that they do that because 
our number one tackler, uh, Devin Bush, he's undersized. So you don't want him getting blocked because he makes a lot of tackles and he's undersized. So it's, it's a little bit harder for him to get off those blocks and still make a play. So that's why when you see us getting giving up big plays on reverses and misdirections and things like that, it's either two things. We over-pursued and like the whole defense over-pursued and he, the guy cut back and there's just nobody there. Or either our linebackers just got blocked. Like we'll run a play and they just all got blocked. You can't have offensive linemen getting to the second level because – Ohio State has a good offensive line. Like, that's one of the strengths of their team. So, we just have to make sure we take care of that. Now, on offense, if we don't – I'm just going to be off honest when I talk about the offense. If we don't have a passing game, it's going to be hard to run the ball. Like, we're going to have no hope of running the ball because they're going to put eight in the box. They're going to have eight in the box. Our running plays are going to be getting smashed in the backfield. And we're going to be punting. We're going to be punting all the time. Our defense is going to get tired. Our defense is going to get tired. And then it's just going to it's going to get ugly. Just to be honest. Once our defense gets tired and they lose that confidence that our offense is actually going to do something, it's it's a wrap. Like it's it's game over. Just like last week. Once once our once Peters went out and our defense basically lost all confidence in our offense that they were going to do something. They gave up they gave up back to back touchdown. They gave up touchdowns. Like you can tell when our defense gets demoralized from not having any offense. So we just have to we have I don't know what we can do. That's why I honestly I don't want to see O'Corn out of, out there cuz he doesn't sit in the pocket long. He gets happy feet and this isn't a defense that you want to get happy feet on cuz they're too fast from the inside and in the back end. So they're going to be too fast for him to be getting happy feet out there like that. Like You're going to have to sit in the pocket when you have it and go through your reads. So honestly, put Malzahn in. Put him in. See what he has. He can't be worse than O'Corn. He can't be. Like you, you can't be worse than that. So put him in. But besides that, we're going to need special teams. For us to stay in this game, we're going to need a special team score, which we haven't had. We had one one punt return by Donovan Peoples Jones, but besides that, like we're gonna we're just gonna need we're gonna need a miracle, honestly, for us to stay in this game and to win this game. We're gonna need a miracle. With no quarterback, unless Mal unless he puts Malzone in, I I'm not gonna have really any hope unless JT Barrett just has a horrible game and just turn keeps turning it over. You know, just one of those games where Every time they get the ball, everything goes wrong. Like they're just turning it over, picks, picks and uh, fumbles just from special teams and all over the place. Like we're gonna need one of those games for just us to stay in it. Because if we don't have a passing game, they're gonna be they're gonna have eight in the box and they're gonna be smashing us in the mouth every time we run the ball. And we're just gonna be punting it because Harbaugh gets conservative. And he tries to trust the defense. But you, you can only trust your defense so much when they're on the field so much. And it, it's not like we're playing a bad team. Like, Ohio State is always ready to play Michigan. Always. So, they're going to be prepared to come out there and do something. So, honestly, I'm just hoping that, I'm hoping he puts in Malzone. Even if he doesn't, even if he plays bad, at least we can see what some of these dudes that – have been high recruits and stuff. See what they have. Like, I want to see what we have on the bench because we know what O'Corn has. So it's it's pointless to me to put him in there. He doesn't give you the best chance to win. I don't I don't believe that. Just like Peters. He had Peters on the bench. And I know people always say, oh, you're not in practice and all this and all this. But Harbaugh, Harbaugh has been known to be stubborn when it comes to quarterbacks. Once he believes in a guy, he doesn't like to change it out unless he ha unless that guy gets hurt and then somebody is forced to play. Besides that, he doesn't like to switch quarterbacks like just because he's playing bad. He doesn't like to do that. O'Corn just basically gave him no choice and no, once he put in once he, uh 
O'Quan was playing so bad, he didn't really have a choice but to put in Peters. Like it's like I can't, get, he can't be any worse. So I'm like, put in Malzone. He can't be any worse than what O'Quan plays. But uh, besides that, I'm just hoping for the best. Like, I mean, but I'm I'm just a realist. Like I don't, we can't run the ball on offense with, with without a passing game. Like it just doesn't work like that. I played too much football and watched too much football to. To even act like it does. If you can't run the ball, I mean, if you can't pass the ball, you're not going to be able to run it unless you have a hell of an offensive line. But that's just, it is what it is. I mean, anybody knows that. So we only got two hopes on offense. Uh, just a, 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 magnific- a, a magnificently skilled uh, scheme. Like if he just comes out with some type of scheme to exploit some type of mismatch on Ohio State's defense, which is going to be bad because Ohio State has one of the best D lines in the in college football, so it's going to be hard to even pass and run on them anyway because of that. So my only hope is maybe he watches the what watches the uh, the Iowa game. And see if he can pitch, pick up some stuff from the Iowa game. Besides that, there's not much I can say to give us hope to win. Like, we're going to have to play an A-plus game in every phase of the game. That's kicking special teams, offense, and defense. <coughs> I mean, if our defense plays a A-plus-plus a plus game, then we may be able to stay in it and then get it to the fourth. If not, then it's, it's not likely. But uh, that's all I got. I mean, I'm hoping for the best. So, as always, go blue. Let's 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 find a way to get it done.